I've been really frustrated trying to find a cup holder for the left side on the, the wing with uh, the CB mounted. I, uh, I do like to use the CB, not only with talking to other riders, but sometimes just to listen to the truckers or talk to the truckers on the highway. So I came up with this wacky idea and I picked up a Gold Strike cup holder. Bought me a 532nd drill bit and a 1030, 1024 tap. And I modified the switch holder that comes with the CB. And it came out really super good. I'm really impressed with it. So I hope this will help any of y'all that have the CB installed and want to have a cup holder on the left side. I can install it on my right. On my right side, I have my iPhone and I've got my cradle where it plugs automatically into the USB one for CarPlay. So the, the right side just out of the question for me. So take a look at the video. I hope it helps. If you've got any questions, let me know. You know, I'll take care of right safe. I saw a motorcyclist killed yesterday. Not good. Those cars are out to kill us. Take care. Okay, well, so far, the only thing I've done is put some blue tape on here and start to make a circle about where I want this guy to be. So I'm going to mount it just like that. And unfortunately, it's going to be in the first portion of the switch, which is okay. It's going to be what it is. Go ahead and pull this back off. Either I destroy the switch or I uh, end up with a cup holder. So I want that little guy just like right in there. The th screw for this is 1032, so that should be pretty simple to find a drill bit. Looks like it's about 8 tenths across, so I'm just going to try to locate me a center here. eyewalling it. I'm going to put it right about there. Let's see how far off I am. i putting this guy in there and see if I see my little X marks the spot. And I do. And that looks real good. Now I did buy a 1032 nut. Nothing special about it. It's just a nut. And I'm going to use it as a drill guide. I'm just going to, I've already drilled the threads out of it. So I'm just going to slide it right over my drill. So I don't have a drill guide that will fit that. And I don't trust me holding it straight. And if I keep that flat on the surface, then I know I'm drilling a straight hole. Yep, I'm right on the mark. I never trust myself on drilling, let me tell you. I wasn't sure if that was alone or not. Obviously it is, so that's good. I was hoping it'd be alone. There is going to be a screw down there, I think. If I remember right, 
that's going through that's holding the switch on, so I'm kind of watching for that. Okay, so I got a little thread. That's how deep I need it to be because that's all the threads I have on this screw. And I'm almost there. marker here yeah and I think I actually broke through at the bottom so that's probably about as deep as I can go because I see threads down through there okay so I think that looks good I'm going to deburr it. Get that drill shaving out of there. Yeah, there it goes. And I think that will work just fantastic once I tap it. So that's the plan. We'll tap it for 1032 and that guy's going to mount just like that. Since I was getting into this upper mounting bolt, I decided to pull the switch off. And just take this assembly off. That's simple. I wish I could just buy these parts by themselves if I mess it all up. I don't think Honda does that. That way I can get all my drill shavings out of there too. So there we go. So I am into that hole, which is okay. I'm good with that. That looks really well centered, even for me doing it. I think that looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and drill it all the way through it. And then we'll tap out the hole. Just ignore the messy work bench. Since I already had off the bike, I figured I was just going to do the work over here. So that is that. Now I need to go get my tap and we'll tap that threads out. Well, as with drilling, Starting it is the most important thing on the tap to make sure you get a straight hole. That looks pretty decent. And being alone in them, it should be pretty simple to do. And clear the threads as I go. You see the tip of the tap coming through. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, piece of cake. There we go. I'm just going to leave it there. Let me go get my parts and let's just do a test fit up. Look at that. Just like it's made to go in there. Doesn't look like it's going all the way through the hole, so it's not going to interfere with the mounting bolt. 
There we go. Look at that. Kind of cool, huh? Getting some drill shavings in there. Okay, well, let's go put the bike back together. Clean all my debris off of here. Of course, no blow off riding down the road, too. Gonna put this little puppy back together. Is that one on the right way? I didn't want to pinch my wires back there. I was kind of hoping some of the experts out there would have come up with a mod for this and I wasn't seeing anything happening, so it's time to do something. I was missing my coffee on my rights. And the switch, it just slides into some brackets back here on the back. And then goes in like that, and then there's a Phillips screw that goes up to the bottom. Let me see if you can see that, now that I moved everything. Zoom out a little bit there. And this guy goes right up in there. Tighten that down. Put a, oops, wrong size. I didn't bring it over here with me. I gotta go get it. Pop that on. Screw the collar on. Look at that. I am so impressed. That is like cool. I feel good about this mod. I really do. I like that. Look at that. And I just so happen to have a coffee cup hanging around, of course, since I sip on this stuff all the time. And it won't hit anything. Everything is clear. Just going to tighten that a little bit more. Don't want to kill it. Yeah. There you go. Piece of cake. Hope that helps you.